wanted to um, divert just a, a moment, if I could, to tell the story of one valiant American who's a very hardworking American. And when we don't make it in America, what happens to our people? And I want to encourage uh, citizens who may be listening to call their member of Congress, if they have a story like this from someone from their family, to please share it with us so that we can be a voice for these families across our country who've been harmed uh, and uh, waiting for a transportation bill to be passed so they can go to work rebuilding America, but meanwhile being hurt by international trade agreements that have outsourced their jobs. And tonight I would like to tell very briefly the story of Richard Hahn, a tradesman from northern Ohio whose job was outsourced to Mexico, one of the countries we talked about and whose current job faces new trade threats as foreign steel floods our markets. Richard Hahn spent a long career with York International as an electrician and 23 years to be exact. He rose through the ranks to the status of 100th in seniority from his dedication and commitment to York International. But in 2001, York International closed its Elyria, Ohio facility and moved production to Monterey, Mexico, leaving 900 workers without work, without a paycheck, without any assistance to move on. After uprooting production to Mexico, York reached status as the world's largest independent manufacturer of air conditioning, heating, refrigeration machinery, and this left it as a prime buy for controls, which acquired the company in 2005. Mr. Hahn and many of his colleagues were given no training or retraining to find a replacement job, but York International continued to thrive. Its parent company, Johnson Controls, even continues to receive Department of Defense contracts to manufacture the same air conditioning, heating, and refrigeration machinery. For nearly a year, Mr. Hahn was forced to accept unemployment as he desperately sought work in Elyria, Ohio. Many of his 900 colleagues moved their families out of Ohio, not finding any hope for reemployment in their hometown where they wanted to stay. Fast forward a little over a decade now, and Mr. Hahn is facing the trade theft of his job all over again. Although currently employed with U.S. Steel as an electrician, his and 614 colleagues' positions are under threat of layoff. U.S. Steel will have to idle its plant in coming months because they cannot cons uh, continue uh, to secure contracts to keep it running. They've had international trade complaints about foreign dumped steel, and unfortunately, Mr. Hahn's story is not unique. In fact, he said his story is depicted best by quoting Billy Joel, we're all waiting here in Allentown, but it sure is getting hard to stay. The promise of jobs and lives better than parents is dissolving, and free trade deals are to blame for the shuttered factories. Millions of Americans from across this great land have lived their own tale in their own Allentown, and I encourage them to write or call their member of Congress, just as Richard Hahn has bravely shared his story with me. Tell us, tell the members, how trade has impacted your life and your ability to provide for your families. The more stories we receive from the American people, the more tales we can tell here on this floor and work with Congressman Garamendi to free our nation from these flawed deals and make goods in America again so that our people can lead a, different, a decent way of life and not have their futures taken from them. So I wanted to thank the gentleman for holding this special order tonight. I use Mr. Hahn as an example of someone who has the finest work ethic, so highly trained, struggling out there uh, to try to maintain work. It shouldn't be this hard in the greatest nation in the world. Thank you so very, very much for bringing